right, so for your home project, you're going to try to isolate microorganism from some common surface that, that is present in your home or something you're familiar with. I'm choosing to sample my iPhone surface, okay? So we're going to try to isolate an organism that will, as we work with it, we'll call it our pet, so to speak. We'll try to do the identification of this organism in a rather rough way. So we need to swab a surface. So I need a sterile swab. A sterile swab is open at one end. I'm going to touch it to any surface and keep it sterile. To pick up microorganisms, the swab is dry, so you need some sterile buffer. And in this cup is a tube of sterile buffer. We'll provide you with sterile buffer. Keep the swab in sterile buffer. To swab the surface of my icon, rotating the swab back and forth. So I picked up some microorganisms. Here's our we have a set of triptic soy auger plates. I'm going to make my initial streak here in one area. Remember, we're going to do a streak plate on this. Try to transfer as many organisms as possible. So that represents our first street. This is theoretically a biohazard, so we have a, a disposal bag for discard materials. Of course, this is from your home, so there is an element of safety involved in it. Now, for making a street plate from this, you have a package of 25 or so sterile inoculating loops, and unlike the metal inoculating loops, these loops, since they're plastic, can only be used once. Sometimes it's hard to know where you street on a plate, and many students like to make a line sort of guiding them. So I drew a line on the plate representing my first street, okay? And I'm going to make a, a line for my second street. Take a disposable sterile inoculating loop. I'm going to go into the original street once. And that represents my second street. Represents the second street. Okay. This also then goes in the biohazard. I'm going to make a third street from that second street. Third street, and I'm going to take advantage of the whole plate, like so. Some people might do a fourth, but I think a third is going to work. Take advantage of the whole surface of the auger plate. The idea would be to get individual bacteria out in this open area plate that will form a colony. All right. The other thing you always want to do is identify your plate whatever you can. So I'm going to put my initials and the date. You notice how I wrote off to the side so as to not sort of obscure what's growing on the plate. So always write to the side of the plate. Okay, this I'm going to incubate on top of my refrigerator. Always incubate the plates inverted. The reason you do that is sometimes there's condensation on the top that can smear your colonies, so always invert the plates. Always. Okay, very good, very good. Let's hope we get some growth. We'll see what's contaminating my iPhone wallpaper. 